it's the best I've felt for a long, long time. Well, Andy, after a disappointing result at the weekend, what's been the attention, what's been the focus uh, in training this week? I think like it always is after every game, you know, whether it's positive, disappointing, um, you know, take out the good things and, and make sure we learn from the mistakes. You know, we have to do that. It's a, it's a long season, you know, 46 games. Um, so I think, yeah, just taking the lessons which we need to, to try and learn from to move forward and, and then look positively into the next game, which, which we're doing for tomorrow. Talk us through some of those you know, lessons, what, what some of the talking points after the game on Saturday, what have you been trying to work on and uh, sort of refocus on for Tuesday? I think if we look at the, the, the two league games in particular, the goals have been pretty similar, um, sort of byline cutbacks and, and even the same for the first one at Forest Green as well. So maybe that's something we're, we're trying to eradicate. You know, we've been getting in good areas, creating some chances and, and we need to put those away. You know, the Blackpool game in particular, we probably should have been out of sight. I know it's disappointing to concede at the end and, and we look back at that and probably think if we'd managed games a little bit better, we might be sat here, you know, with four points and instead of being sat here with one. And like I say, it's 46 games, we're only two games in, so it's a long, long season and, and I'm absolutely sure we'll, we'll be absolutely fine. Um, you know, as the season progresses, but it's just frustrating we haven't got more points on the board than we have already. Yeah. The games do come thick and fast, um, just, you know, two, three days between games this week. Um, how are the bodies coping? Yeah, they're good, you know, for, for me personally, I'm obviously absolutely loving it being here, um, being back playing and stuff like that. So, yeah, my, my body feels good. Um, it's, it's the first time I've had a, a full pre-season for, for a couple of years as well. So, yes, it's the best I've felt for a long, long time. So I'm really happy with that. And I think, you know, we can see the the depth which we've got in the squad you know we changed for all 11 players for the forest green managed to keep everyone fresh for the weekend so it just shows that you know we've almost got two 11s who, who can and step in and play at any time and i think that's brilliant for the manager and and certainly as us for players as well i know um i wasn't here last year but obviously having followed the team we we had a few injuries last year so it wasn't always the case in, in having that that chance to maybe rotate the team for for some of the games um if the manager wants to but but we certainly got that this year and, and everyone's fighting to be in that starting 11. And you go into the Reading game off the back of your first goal for the club. Must have been a special moment for you. Yeah, certainly it was. Yeah, a really nice moment. Obviously at the time it was it was brilliant to, to sort of get back into one one. But you know, disappointing that, that we would then went up and conceded the other end as well. So you know, that's football. Um, you know, I'd have obviously rather taken the three points than, than not score myself. But yeah, from a personal point of view, to, to score for your boy or team was was a nice feeling. And, and hopefully there's a few more to come this season as well. To Reading on Tuesday, I think there's going to be. You know, near enough a full house, it's going to be really busy in that away end. How much are you looking forward to, you know, putting a smile on their faces? Yeah, massively. You know, obviously having been that away end myself for games like Reading and, and stuff like that when I was younger. So, yeah, I can't wait to, to see them all there. You know, we know the, the away support, as is the home, to be honest, is the following is absolutely brilliant. So, we want to give them something to shout about. We understand. You know the frustration of, of the recent results and, and stuff like that, especially like I say, conceding in the 90th minute against. Blackpool obviously set us back a little bit in the first game of the season, but yeah, we're we're as keen as as, as they are to, to try and get some points on the board, and I'm sure that will happen sooner rather than later. Any memories of um, you know those, those away ends? Yeah, I've got a lot. You know, um, you know one of the best ones I was it was at Brentford, the old Griffin Park. I think Leroy Leeter scored. Um, I couldn't tell you what year it was, early 2000s maybe. You'll have to look it up, but. Yeah, I think we were losing. I can't remember if it was 2-1 or 1-0. And we, we came back and I think we ended up winning 3-2. And I remember Leroy Elite scoring and everyone piling down to the, the bottom of the away. And so it was good memories, yeah. All right, good luck on Tuesday. Cheers, thank you.